Hi, this is Bill Myers, and this is another trick that you can do with the Google Earth. Now, if you've downloaded the free Google Earth program, you know that there's a lot of things you can do with it, like zooming into different locations in the world. But one of the cool things is that it includes a free flight simulator program. And to bring this up, all you do is hold down the Control key, the Alt key, and the A key. And you may have to hit the Alt, Control, A a number of times, but when you do, you'll bring up a screen like this. And on this screen, you can select the aircraft that you want to use in your flight simulator. And you can select what airport you want to take off from, or you can select the current view. And if you have a joystick, you can select the joystick enabled. Now, if this is the first time you've tried the flight simulator, you probably want to click this help button so you can see the keyboard commands if you don't have a joystick. In this case, let's take off from a LAX, runway 6. And we can click start flight. And you notice that it puts us on a runway on LAX. And what we need to do now is bring the power up. And the way I do that is I bring the page up button several times because I don't have, a, don't have a joystick. And I watch my speed. And once my speed gets up to about 180, I'm going to bring the nose up slightly. take off and I'll bring my gear up and I'll make sure I don't stall by going up too fast. Watch my altitude over here on the right. And there you are, you can see that you're uh, that there's the ground below you. And once you get airborne, you can zoom around. You can fly different directions. If you're brave, you can land, but most likely if you don't have a joystick when you try to land, you're going to crash it. Anyway, this is Google Earth, and you can fly over or from almost any destination on the planet. It's really easy to use, and it's a free flight simulator from Google Earth. Oh, yeah, one other thing about this. If you're flying and you lose control, it's going to crash, but you can always hit pause to stop it so you can see where you are and maybe uh, regain control of the plane. Again, like I said, I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. For find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.